Hi, this is Kel from EverlastingMobility.com. Today we are visiting Pride Mobility's corporate headquarters in Duryea, Pennsylvania. And as you can see, they have a large selection of products, power wheelchairs, mobility scooters, and lift chairs. We're going to go over a few of them today, so let's get into it. And in this video, we're gonna talk about Pride Mobility's newest folding mobility scooter, the iGo. One thing that's unique about this scooter is you can fold it up into one piece, but if that's too heavy for you, you can actually break it into two more lightweight pieces. It's offered in four colors of white, black, iceberg, blue, or sugar plum. It's airline approved. It has a small footprint once it's folded, and it's a really cool scooter. So we're gonna show you some more features about the iGo. With the iGo, there's some pretty cool features about the scooter that aren't on many other scooters. Uh, one of them is this back hard shell storage compartment. So you can zip this open. This would be a great place to put your charger. If you had a small purse, you could put that in here, uh, your wallet, things like that. If you prefer, you can even take off the seat back if you wanted to and remove that. Uh, we like to have it on so you have that support in your back and the storage compartment. So that preference is up to you. Another really cool feature about this scooter is the wheels are flat free tires. So there's no air in these tires, but there are holes that are drilled. It has a little give similar to a pneumatic tire, but you don't have to worry about getting a flat tire. So that's pretty cool technology that Pride has added to this scooter and a few of the others that they have. There's also a storage area right beneath the seat. It has this net over top of it to secure it. So there's a few other belongings you can put in here. Now onto the tiller. The iGo does come with two keys and this would be your battery gauge. So right now it's almost fully charged. If you get in the habit of recharging your batteries when it gets to about halfway charged and do that consistently, especially when you first get it, it will help increase the longevity of the battery battery on your powered mobility product. This is a two button switch for your speed control. So when it's pressed down like this towards the tortoise, then your top speed is cut in half from the normal top speed, which is around two or two and a half miles per hour. But you can flip it up towards the rabbit. And when you do that, you will reach the top speed when you fully accelerate, which is around four miles per hour. This is your horn button and the tiller's throttle controls is actually ambidextrous. So if you had limited mobility in one of your hands, you can accelerate forward or backwards with just one hand. There's also a convenient USB charging port so you could charge your cell phone while you're on the go. And here is the light switch. So if I turn that on, you can see this front headlight will turn on and that helps when you're trying to drive the scooter at nighttime. So it's a great feature on this scooter. A lot of folding scooters don't have a headlight. On the front wheel, this is your free wheel lever. So if you press it down towards the unlock, you can wheel the scooter manually and that's if in case you were to run out of battery life. However, you can't operate it when it's in free wheel. You have to make sure it's in the locked or engaged position. That way you can operate the scooter. The tiller is also a telescoping tiller, so you can pull it up or down to get to a nice height for you to drive comfortably. And the battery is located on the floorboard, so you can charge it by plugging it in directly, or you can remove this, the battery itself and you can bring this inside your home to charge the battery. And then once it's fully charged, you can bring it back out to the scooter and put it back in there as opposed to bringing the whole scooter into your home. So you have that option. Now folding the scooter is very simple and it's unique compared to other folding scooters. So the first step you would wanna do is pull this knob on the side to lay the seat back down. And then on the front of the seat, right underneath, there is a little lever that you wanna to pull towards you and that will release the scissor mechanism on the seat so it folds down flat. Next, you'd want to put the tiller all the way down using that telescope lever to telescope the tiller down. And there's another lever on the front of the tiller where you would pull that up and then there's a handle in the middle of the floorboard that you pull up as well. And that will collapse the scooter into one piece. And it doesn't take up much space when it's folded. You can also pull the tiller out and you can wheel it behind you like a piece of luggage. 
So another really cool feature about this scooter is not only does it fold up into one piece, you can also separate it into two pieces that are more lightweight because when you fold it into one piece, the total weight of the scooter is around 60 pounds, but you can also fold it in the same manner. And then once you get to this step, there are two, two of these levers on the side. So if you pull them both up, it will actually release the front half portion of the scooter from the rear. And now you have more lightweight pieces that are easy to pick up and carry. So when you do this now, the heaviest piece of the scooter is actually cut in half to around 30 pounds. And to put the front half portion back on to the scooter in this manner, there's two hooks on the front half portion of the scooter that you would line up on this crossbar in the middle. Make sure they're hooked on there. Press these two levers down. Use that same grip handle on the front. You pull that up and the lever on the front and now you can extend the floorboard out, lift the seat back up, and now you have unfolded the scooter. So we really like the scooter a lot. It's unique to the industry and you can't really go wrong with any scooter from Pride Mobility. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a great folding mobility scooter that's approved for airline travel, you can take it on cruises. It folds into one piece easily, and it can also be taken apart into two more lightweight pieces. The iGo is an excellent choice. Like we mentioned earlier, the iGo is made by Pride Mobility. They are a staple in the powered mobility industry, and they also have one of the best warranties in the industry in, as well, which includes one year of in-home service. So as long as it's a an approved warranty claim through Pride, they'll send a technician to your home to diagnose and resolve any issue that would occur within the first year. So if you have any questions about the iGo or any of Pride Mobility scooters or power wheelchairs, please give us a call at 1-800-498-2560 or visit us at everlastingmobility.com.